how's it going? I would like to suggest that you take a look at another tutorial that I made. It will help you to prepare you before you attempt to draw this drawing. So just simply click on the picture in this video that you see on the screen to go to that other video. Alright, welcome back everyone. We're going to be doing a tree tutorial. And for this, unlike my last tree, tree tutorial, which was a dead tree, this one it's going to be a tree full of um, life and leaves and things like that. So this, it's um, a little more complicated than the other one. you got to do a lot of shading. It takes about a good hour or so to uh, really get this thing going. So I'm going to flip to a clean page. And the first thing, I'll flip back to this again. If you remember how I, if you haven't watched this tutorial, I recommend that you watch this before attempting this one. Um, in this one, I start off the tree in cylinders, like up here. So this one is going to be the, the same only for the bottom part of the tree. That's mainly it. And maybe there's a few loose branches up around the tree in some areas like that. So to start off, I just use my uh, mechanical pencil. And this either has... HB or 2B in it, I'm not sure which, but um, doesn't really make a difference because they're relatively the same shade anyway, so. To start off, i um, just going to uh, make the ground of the tree, or the tree will be situated on, like the grass and things like that. Just quickly making some uh, lines in there, nothing too fancy. Um, the tree... Uh, one thing I usually try to avoid with the tree trunk is I try to avoid making it straight up and down. Like that. I always try to uh, you know, put, it to, put it to the side a little bit, like give some angle to it. You know what I mean? I also may remember you've probably seen drawings like this before. This would be the tree trunk, and then this would be the tree. That's your classic lollipop tree. The, the concept is going to be pretty much the same to start out, but then you're going to add a lot of detail to it. So it's going to start out like this, then it's going to change. So here's the uh, stem of the tree, which I got down here. And I'm going to end this off. Now. This part, it's going to be a just a rough shape of how the tree will look. Um, don't put too hard of a line down for this. You want to make it very light because it's going to eventually all be erased. So for this, I'm going to go with a standard shape of a tree. And I'm just going to lightly do it. And my line's going to be very broken. It's just mainly here to help aid in what the shape of the tree will take when it's done. So I don't know if you can see this line, but it's just going to be something like this. And I'm going to make the top a little bit off in shape, just to give the tree a little more character. Just like that. Now for this next part, it may not be the best choice to use a mechanical pencil because it's kind of difficult. I do have, this is a 4H. This is what I used when I initially did that other sketch that I showed you, which was this one. So I first started out using. What you want to do, you want to take the pencil and put it, your two, your index and your thumb like this, like that. You take your uh, pinky I put it in like that, so you're just, they, they call us the underhand grip. And you mainly just want to take it just like that. You all see that? Okay, so you mainly want to take it like that. And I'm going to go up here, and what you want to do, you just want to go very quickly in very small circles. Like that. Because this whole process of drawing a tree, I mean, you may be wondering, how do you draw every single leaf? You know, that's just insane. What you do is you don't draw actually any leaves at all. You draw around the leaves. You, you draw everything but the leaves. Um, some like to call this negative drawing. 
so you're just uh, creating volumes of shades like this and then when it's done the viewer will see every little light spot in between the shading and they'll interpret it as a leaf so it's kind of funny how this works out all right so for the tree um, you, you kind of want to group different areas of leaves together um, what I mean is go back to here you could see areas of light you know all in here and it gets dark in here where the shadow is and notice how it's darker on the bottom than it is on the top the light is hitting the top of the tree and as it starts to get down to here it's not hitting anything of this because this is all underneath like that so with this you um, start out with a 4H if you have a 2H or even an, an HB or if all you have is the school pencil just it'll it'll work but you just have to go very light with a 4H you can press pretty hard and it'll, it'll remain light no matter what you do with it so to start out just quickly just um, put in some those little circles and you want to kind of think about how a tree will look when you're doing this you're gonna have some parts that break off from the rest and things like that alright so you guys know the drill I like to speed things up um, to save some time so in this process like I was saying I'm just um, taking the pencil putting it in the underhand grip and just slowly, well not slowly, I'm quickly working in circles, uh, very small circles, just to uh, build up volume. Um, I go through the majority of the tree just with the 4H just to put the initial tone down and then later on I come back in with some darker pencils and put some shadows in. You want to make sure that while you're doing this you go outside that line you made for the tree, for the um, circle. Um, that will help to make it uh, look more real. There's one thing I uh, failed to mention during this. Um, you do, like all my other drawings, you want to establish where the source of the light is coming from. So usually I have it coming in this way, but this time I'm going to have the light coming in here in this direction. So that means anything that's I'll draw a central line here, just like that. Anything that's over in this area will generally be lighter than anything that's in this area. So you want to shade this part, like this bottom part here, I'll probably going to shade fairly dark. I'll probably get in there with a 3 or 4B when I get to that point of the drawing. So. You want to keep this part over here really light, but the shadows will still be fairly dark because if it's still intense light, you're still going to see a lot of shadow, even if it's in the uh, areas of highlight. That's what they call high contrast. Alright, so I sped it up again. Um, this whole, pro I'm going to finish up this whole tree just with the 4H pencil alone. So I'm uh, still quickly working in those tiny circles. And I'm also, with the 4H, I'm going into certain areas and making it darker just to help me to establish where a shadow could possibly be. Um, this also helps um, for me so that if, because if I made the whole tree one tone, it would just be as if I just took charcoal on a cloth and smeared it all over it because, and it wouldn't do much so I, I try even with one tone of a pencil I just try to uh, put try to establish what uh, where the shadows w could possibly be and then of course later coming back in with the uh, HB or 2B to um, darken in that one side and as you saw before I went to speed drawing here um, I put a central dividing line and anything over to the right of that line will be significantly darker than anything that's on the left. So please be sure to keep that in mind while you're drawing this, depending on where you have your light source coming in from. 
This video will be split into two parts. Um, the picture that you see here is the completed picture after the tutorial is completed, so please come back and watch part two to be able to replicate this drawing. In the meantime, please subscribe and also check out my channel to watch many other tutorials I have already made. So take care everyone and I will see you later.